Hey, good morning, farming fans. How we doing? Toster 12 here. And we've got some more mods that came out. Kind of exciting. I like a few of them. A few of them, you know, they're okay. I mean, to each his own. But we'll find out. Let's go look at them. Got some that come out. I think it's really neat. It's going to come in handy. There's one of them in particular. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's it's good for what it is. I'll explain that in just a minute. I'll actually, actually show you. I mean, there's a couple of them I thought was kind of crazy because we have duplicates now. But, hey, like I said, more the merrier. Each his own. That way we have a choice now. So it's different, to say the least. We'll start out with the vehicles here. We have the new Holland TC 5.90 Harvester with the header. That's new that came out. I do like the new Hollands. I'm a fan of the new Hollands, especially the color. I'm not yellow. That yellow just does it for me. I love it. Bright. You can see it. It's not hiding in the field. It's got a, and I'm not complaining on this. I like that horn. I mean, it's it's a normal horn. It's not a sick Zuzu or Yamaha motorcycle horn, to say the least. So. Uh, I think I actually have it folded out. Yeah, I do. Oh, dang. I do have it folded out. I was jacking with it a while ago. <laughs> so, but, simple little harvester. Uh, you know, it's nothing too concerning or special about it, but it is just a new Holland. I do like that seat. That's the first time I looked on the inside. Oh, wow. It does have a buddy seat. That's kind of cool. So, there you have it. I like that seat. <laughs> wow. Huh. You go. That is awesome. So let's take a look at that. It's actually in my garage. If it'll ever go over there. There we go. Thank you. Uh, oh, okay. I'm already there. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Stop it. It takes up 12 spaces. It does uh, your basics as far as the harvesting with the headers and stuff. It holds 6,400 liters at 258 horsepower. It takes up 12 spaces. That's not bad. I mean, that is doable and it is livable. Uh, the 6,400, that's what I'm not all that concerned about or fond of because right here, there that is, the TC590. Holds 6,400 liters, takes up 12 spaces. Here you have the Agra, uh, Agco, 1,701, uh, 17,100 liters. The other New Holland here we have, the uh, CR1090, holds 14,500. It is a little bit more expensive, and it does take up 12 spaces. So there you have it. If you're looking for a cheaper version, just starting out, That's I'd say that is perfect, just starting out, without a doubt. Because if you'll notice, I had to do some more crunching, if you'll notice my numbers up there. we got 1,299 spaces available, and I've got 1,284 used. Yes. Crazy, I'm telling you. When it comes out, I want it. Uh, Giants, we need more. We need more spaces. Come on. My PlayStation can handle it. We just need more spaces. That's all we need. So, there you have that one. I mean, it's the price is good. The spaces it takes up is not bad. And it's a New Holland. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. And here we have the tractor, <laughs> the cow tractor, Moo Moo. <laughs> there you go, cows. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's another thing. Right before, uh, before I get off on this. Oh, we don't need a chainsaw. That's not a good thing. I would like to give a shout out and ask everyone if they would, please, if you hadn't already done so, you need to do so. Go check out these people on YouTube. There's some good people. Wow, where did I go? Good people. Uh, they have awesome uh, feeds, uh, awesome, uh, awesome channels. Uh, you need to go check them out. I want to give the shout out to the Tiny 426, amazing man there, Mr. Aussie, 
not an amazing man. Lunatic Calm, Mrs. Ozzy, uh, Necro666, the Necro666, uh, MN Cowboy77, PS4, uh, Marcel, Jada, uh, Wiki Farms, Ryan Clark, uh, DJ Goham and the Fam. You know, go check them out. Germany G. Go check all those people out. You, you won't be sorry, I promise. Cows Go Moo, Farmer Pierce. You won't be sorry. Go check those people out. Uh, Rabbit Man. There's another one. I'm telling you people to go check them out. Tell them uh, Toster sent you. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to all of them. They're great people. Go check them out. Give them a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You won't be disappointed. I promise. They got some. They got some great, great, great videos you need to check out. Uh, here we are. If you also look on my channel, uh, to the right, where it says featured channels, you'll see a whole list of them right there. Click on any and all of them. Give them a visit. You you won't be disappointed. So here we have the seed bags, the seed arm. And, ooh, let me get back up here. There we go. Oh, well, snap. There we go. Little man don't want to work. He's all over the place. I guess he had too much coffee this morning. He's trying to stay awake. Got the seat arm on front of the Moo Moo tractor. And we got the, uh, the crate handler. So let's check this out. This I'm excited about. I'm really excited about it. Because if you look... It's got, got them attached to both the front and the rear of the tractor. Now with this, the bag lifter, it, of course, simple up and down there. You also have the extension arm, which is handy. All right. Drop it down there. And... Choose the one you want. You can let that thing go. Leave it on there. That is awesome. I'm loving that. Now, granted, uh, this little tractor, it handles it because it's balanced on both ends right now. Uh, it was having not not a big problem, but it was it was questionable earlier when I was trying to mess with this. Now, granted, I had the uh, lifting arm. And the, uh, the pallet, uh, uh, pallet X, I call it, there. Uh, and I actually cooked onto both the bag and the pallet, uh, the tank at the same time. So it probably was a little overweighted, and it wasn't the, the machine's fault. It was mine. Just an operator error uh, on that part. And, of course, now the back, it doesn't have the, uh, the X there for the tank. It has just the hook. So it will do just as it says right there. So, boom, there you go. It's simple, and it does the same thing. You can get it set, just get it on the right uh, setting there. It'll do the same thing, extends out. So, everything works right there. I think that is awesome. Not to mention the Moo Moo Cow we have. Just want to kind of showcase that a little bit as well. That is kind of cool. Not near as cute seed as that uh, combine over there. But however, it does have the buddy seat right there. I bet it's a fold down too. Uh, into inside actually looks nice. I really do like this. Impressive. I may actually buy this tractor if I got room. Kind of cool. But there you have it, the Moo Moo tractor. Kind of neat. I'm fond of it anyway. So let's go look at these things. Let's go check them out. Let's get the tractor first. I'll take the small one. I believe it is. Ah, uh, yep. There is the N-Series Cow Edition. It's the Moo Moo Tractor from Vol Voltra. Will cost you $124,000 base price. And it will set you by... Oh, crap. Wrong button. I hate it when I do that. Never fails. Never fails. Always hit the wrong button. Try to get in a hurry, punching things, and it <laughs> it goes in a handbasket. It will cost you 16 spaces, so I may not buy this. Uh, however, 
there's other tractors out there that will take less that will does just as good. I just like the cow pattern on it. I think it's kind of cool. But the 16 spaces, so I probably won't be able to get it. And it's a 145 small horsepower tractor. So, you know, it, it's kind of kind of what you need is uh, part of that. So that's one thing you need to check out is what you need, the horsepower, and the spaces that it takes. Now, the Lizard, the 13XL, the, uh, the, power, the lift, it will take up one spot as it shows right there, which I'm excited about. I actually own one. I went ahead and bought uh, bought one. Two, two, two. It's on here somewhere. I just want to make sure they're corresponding. I don't want to tell you for a leased item it's one spot, then uh, you purchase it and it says three or something. Okay, so it does give you one spot. So it is a one spot uh, three-point lift for the... Uh, lifter arm right there now that lifter arm the lizard 1300 xl will set you back 12,600 it'll take up one spot it is customizable in colors with blue and yellow and i love this get a load of it get a load of it come on come on oh original lizard i love that green it kind of pops i so should have got that but yeah it will cost you 600 dollars more for the color change but don't take up any more spaces that's a good thing now, the Lizard, uh, the tool, will set you back $600. It is not customizable at all. And it will take up one spot. So, I also have that purchase as well. Uh, so, there you have it on that. On the, uh, for that's the, and that's the bag lift and the tool for the arms. So, you got, you got both of them right there. That's both of them as a, uh, hmm. yep. not a package deal, but they go together per se. It's a package, but it's not a package deal. So we have it on those. That's what I'm excited about right there. I think that is just amazing. All right. This one actually makes no sense to me at all. I love Flagel. I love them. But however, we have another set <laughs> of these trailers, which now in turn. Oh wow! See, wrong button again. I did it again, folks. Oh my gosh! I need I need more coffee. I think. All right. See, we have that one, which came with the game, the Stroutman. And then, sometime during our mod updates, we grabbed a hold of another Stroutman. The SZK802. And in the accompaniment of the SEK Sam Edward King 802. Just a few different numbers. I'm guessing they do the same thing. I haven't heard and I actually haven't tested that. And now we got the TDK160 and the DK160. Yeah. I can't tell you. I have no idea. I'm at a loss. They both do the same thing. One's more pricey than the other. You can do the same capacity. You can change the same colors. Yeah, I don't know. The only difference that I see is the guards on it right there. Now that may... I said I haven't tried these. I haven't put them to a test. I really don't know. Huh, I just seen that air tank. I really don't know. I bet I try that out today and give it a a test to see exactly the major differences. I see the difference there. The air tank's actually mounted up underneath. It's slightly different. Uh, ah, this is a tricycle hay trailer. This is not. Now I see the difference. I just went through that. I'd actually prefer that one, preference-wise. But you're looking at uh, a $14,600 base. That's for that one. Now, when you come down to the first one, it's 14.6. It's a 14.6. Now, that we don't want to change the tires. 14.6, 19.1, 21.1, and there you go, back to 14.6. So you have one, two, three, four, five options on that trailer and five on this one as well. 
That one will take up, looks like four spots a piece, four spaces a piece. This one is going to take up probably the four. Let's go take a gander at that. Because I bet you money is going to be initially the the uh, four and then the one, the one, the one, like that. There's a one, one. Eh, it just says a one, 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 one. Well, that's all it's saying. Beats me, folks. I guess when I return them, I'll find out. I'll get back with you on that. But these are the tricycle trailers. It's like a hay trailer set up. If you're looking for that setup, this is perfect. Personally, I don't really don't like them. They're okay. They serve their purpose. When you're doing a uh, chain like this and you're doing it in a circle, it works perfect because you can just almost make these things kiss each other. That is amazing right there, I think. I mean, we got a bunch of them. And like I said, they have their own uses. They're cool. I like them. I have one of them over there at the farm. Uh, I don't have a whole set, which I'm actually thinking about getting a couple of these large ones maybe and chaining them together like this. I don't know. I haven't decided. Of course, a space. And we have our bag forks. I was, I was excited about this. Was, keyword, until I decided to try to load this thing up. And you'll see it kind of gets a little crazy right there. But we can just kind of drive around and sling it. There we go. There we go. It come off there. This telehandler will not hold no more than one bag. And it doesn't want to do that very well. And it's not just... It's, it's, it's glitchy. I mean, I admit, it's glitchy. Uh, and I'm sure it'll probably get worked out. Have no doubt about that. But however, one bag? Really? I'm like, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more. I mean... You got the one bag, and it does its job. It does it well. I like that. But when you go to want to extend and maybe stack up or something, that doesn't work all that well. Because now when you get it up there, and you want to... Oh, there we go. Boom. It does that with one bag. You can have two bags on that thing and have it all the way in, and it will still do that same exact thing. Now, I wasn't able to try this big boy. I so want to do, and I will. I just don't have the space to do it. So, we might just do that here in a little bit. You know, that's a good idea. Thank you. That is a good idea. We will just tackle that here in just a second. We'll just drop that right there. Because of all the least stuff I can return... And we'll just see what we can do. So, there you have it on the equipment. The trailers. The uh, telehandler, which is still the other day a new one. I just love that thing. The, uh, I actually figured I'd put the telehandler on there and try to use it, but it didn't quite work that well. Uh, but the New Holland there, the tractor, the bag lifts, the, uh, you know, the container lifts, I love it. Those are amazing. I'm ecstatic about those. That's one thing I'm glad they, they come out with. I was waiting on that. When they come out with it in 17, I loved it then. It was awesome. Next thing, and I actually missed this the other day, and I am so sorry. A couple of them I actually missed, and I think the tractor was involved in that as well. It may not have been, but I believe it was. I actually missed Walter. I can't believe I missed Walter. Walter, I should call him Buzz. I think I'll call him Buzz. His name is now Buzz. And no, not Buzz Lightlier. His name is Buzz because he looks like he had a rough night. I'm telling you, he looks like he had a rough, rough night. He went to some costume party and they just ravaged him. I'm telling you, they went all over him. It was crazy. So, I'm going to call him Buzz. That's Buzz right there, guys. Meet Buzz. Buzz, meet everybody else. You're on YouTube now. You're famous. 
All righty. And I missed the lime silo. I cannot believe I missed the lime silo. How did you let me do that? That's crazy. I had a squirrel moment, I'm telling you. <laughs> Squirrels went nuts. Ooh, boy, did they. All righty. But that, I just kind of want to kick those in there since I did miss them the other day, and I still think that tractor was involved in there, but I'm not going to admit that. The, uh, but I got them on there. They're now in, in game. I, that's probably why I missed it, because uh, Buzz was probably out. So I think he was at that, that costume party. So, and we also have a pond, which I'm ecstatic about. I think is just awesome. I will also do a short video in just a few minutes on making the pond. Isn't she beautiful? I love it. We have a pond, and we can feel from this pond. Just pull up next to it, and, and, <laughs> well, there we go. L3. Pull up next to it, the L stick on the PlayStation, and there you go. You got to feel. Hope, I hope everything's stocked. We can go fishing next. I'm going to like that. That's going to be awesome. It is going to be awesome, I'm telling you. All righty, we got that thing full. We can get water from here. We can go fishing. That's what they need to do, put fishing in here, and we can catch some fish. That's what I'm talking about. But I wanted to showcase those and get those done, people. Like I said, sorry I missed a couple things last week. She didn't want to, didn't intend to. I still think I think it's Buzz. I think it's Buzz. He he was gone. He's supposed to be take be working here and and keeping track of things that goes on and uh, doing the notes and the secretarial part of it, the clerical part. And I don't know. I mean, he was going to have a talk. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to fire him. You know, it's hard to fire a family. You know, you're kind of crazy. But hey, it's free help. What what can you say? So, like I said, stop by the other guys' channels. Uh, check them out. Uh, right there on my channel on the face part of it go to the right it says featured channels check all them out you won't be disappointed i promise uh if you hadn't give me a thumbs up if you if you want to i'd love it i'd greatly appreciate it subscribe if you hadn't already done so and go ahead and uh, share this uh people i'd greatly appreciate that as well all right folks we now have <clears throat> the big boy well bigger boy i guess you could say whoa and it's articulating too wow <laughs> oh, we're dead gum. Let's see how she handles with the one. And then we'll uh, go check out the other bags. Actually, got rid of some of that stuff. Okay, listen, no problem. I noticed it'll bounce a little bit there. It does bounce a little bit. Extend it out. Okay. Ooh. It handles it better, but it still does the same thing. My granite is fully extended, I realize that. But what if you want to stack it in a barn or something? I mean, come on. I know those things are heavy. This one actually handles it better. Yet handling two, I kind of doubt that's going to happen. It may, but I just don't see that. Not really. I just left my tools laying everywhere. Oh, hang on. Bad gum. Easy. I'm gonna make a big mess. Let's see if we can get another one on here. And it looks like we're gonna have to do some flagling. Woo! If we don't throw that one off first, we may actually throw that one off. All right, let's go down a little bit. Uh oh, a little bit. There we go. Oh, maybe. There we go. We got it. All right. 
it does handle the two. So that's it's done. Hey, it done better than the other one because the other one would not even do this. So let's try with these over here. See what happens. Give it just a little bit more weight. And just see what happens with it. Check it out. After all, if we're going to be using this, we need to know what it's capable of. Looks like it's kind of struggling to go forward. Now, this is the problem right here. They want to drag the ground and then get the rest of them that's on there. See? A little bit tedious. Can't do it to, get it to hook up to them and get them on there. There's that articulation. That's a little goofy. And we got the third one. Oh, it won't do three. Does not like that three. Oh, at all. Yeah, I don't like the three. Two's the max on this one. So it's really not much better. It does the two. Right there like that. And extended works great. Except when you try to move. So there we have it, people. It's that great idea, but they're going to have to adjust the weight limits on this or something. Give us a weight to put on the back. Looks like it has the hitch and some hookups, but it doesn't have a weight for the back. They need to fabricate a weight. We need to get a weight for the back. And if we can get a weight for the back of these, that'd work perfect. I would love them. That'd be great, actually. I mean... That's what we need, is a weight for the back. So there you go, Giants. There's a next thing to work on, some weights for the back that we can mount up to the rear of the telehandlers so we can use these things for this lift right here. That would be amazing. So come on. We're asking, please. Which I think they need it anyway. I mean, come on, telehandler can't handle that. Front loader can. If y'all can hear, I'm sure y'all probably can. My canines in the back are graciously playing this morning. Right in the middle of the floor, right below my feet. They know I'm up to something, so they're like, hey. Guess what? You're not paying us attention. So, well, there you have it. I just wanted to throw this little clip at the end and check it out. So, ooh. And someone that can't drive, as you can tell. So there you have it, people. Hope you liked it. Again, give me a thumbs up if uh, you like this. And don't forget to check out those other guys. They're great. Thanks for stopping by. Y'all have a great one.